Sussex roars with rage. Queen forces has to step back as Duke's memoir pushed himself to dead end. Prince Harry, 37, flew to the UK to visit the Queen on his way to the Invictus Games in The Hague with Meghan Markle. But the Duke of Sussex's visit has sparked concerns he might tone down his royal tell-all, military historian Christopher Joll has claimed. Harry and Meghan are alleged to have been invited by the Queen to join the royal family on the Buckingham Palace balcony at her Platinum Jubilee, the Daily Telegraphy reported. Speaking to LBC, Mr Joll said, he has promised to kiss and tell memoir which Penguin Random House paid him a multi-million pound advance for. Well if he's reconciled with the royal family to the point that he's able to appear on the balcony with them, surely he will have toned down the contents of his memoirs. If he tones down the contents of his memoirs, Random House won't be very happy about that. You can't be a commercial celebrity and a royal at the same time. The trip to the UK comes after Harry was absent from the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service in London last month. Harry is bringing a claim against the Home Office after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting from the US, despite offering to pay for it himself. The Duke wants to bring his children to visit, but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, his legal representative has said. A spokesperson for Harry confirmed earlier in March that he would miss the service for his grandfather, but that he hoped to visit the Queen soon. On Thursday night, a spokesperson for the couple confirmed they visited the Queen ahead of their appearance at the Invictus Games which open this weekend. Joe Little, managing editor of Majesty magazine, described it as a very welcome if long overdue move on the part of Harry and Meghan. Last week, Di Davis, a former head of royal protection at Scotland Yard, told the PA news agency that the idea Harry is unable to come to the UK due to safety concerns is sheer unadulterated nonsense, adding the Duke is not an expert in security. Speaking about the likely security arrangements in The Hague, Mr Davis said, the truth is I have no doubt that he will be protected, whether he takes his own team or whether the Dutch authorities give him some kind of VIP status. The truth is, if there's a risk both countries, ours and the Netherlands, have sophisticated systems of determining risk. This country has determined he is no longer at risk. That may or may not be true, but people far better qualified than I am now can make that decision and they never make it lightly. He said the Ministry of Defence is involved in looking after royals in the Netherlands, and while there is a royal protection squad he said it is not as big or as experienced as the UK's squad. Meghan's attendance at the Invictus Games, which will be for the first few days, was confirmed by a spokesperson for the couple. Meanwhile, the Sussexes have promised the Queen that she will get to hug her great-grandchildren Archie and Lilibet in the near future. This comes amid increasing concerns over the Queen's health, with the monarch having most recently pulled out of attending the Maundy Thursday service. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made a surprise visit to the Queen at Windsor on Thursday. Meghan has returned to the UK for the first time since the couple stepped back from royal duties in March 2020 and moved to the US. Meghan and Harry exchanged few words with the Queen during a very cordial meeting and inquired about her health. While, the 95-year-old monarch also sent love to Lily and Archie. She is yet to meet her great-granddaughter, 11-month-old Lilibet, who was named after the Queen's childhood nickname. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited to the UK to meet the monarch and Prince Charles for a peace offering, before travelling to The Hague today for the start of the Invictus Games in the Netherlands. Meghan and Harry's visitors also gave birth to their possible appearance at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee event in June.